there, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another episode here on Past Easter Skin. We're trying something a little bit different. It's because we're bringing back this <laughs> great unboxings. We had stopped doing these for months because they're being garbage. They've been literal garbage. They've been horrible for a few months, and they're still sending them to me, so I might as well take a look at them. There was one fan out there who's actually been watching the videos here on the channel and has sent me a crate of their own. Uh, they'll see it, check out that video. It'll be up on the channel as well very soon, but it uh, inspired me to go back to doing these crates just for the fact that I have them sitting here. I have the new setup, and I thought this might do something a little bit different. Uh, gone. It's still multi-camera. We still got the camera on me and camera on the... Well, I suppose it's actually, I have to remember, it's over here, even though I have to reach over here for it. But uh, we've got this kind of like green screen setup that actually works a little bit better for this kind of thing. And um, I thought it would actually look a little bit nice for you guys to check it out. So uh, if you like this video, if you like the style and design, if any of this is confusing, I know this bit is a bit weird, like me doing gesturing to this side, but having to reach over here for that object. I did initially flip the image so that it made more sense, but you'll see if there's t-shirts that have writing or the boxes themselves, like I can't hold up a crate like that for you guys to see and it would actually be like reversed, flip it, reverse it if I actually had it sitting on the opposite side. So this might work for now, but if you have any thoughts, questions, ideas that could maybe change this, then make sure to put them in the comments underneath, but let's get into this month's Luke Gaming. <laughs> this month's Luke Gaming. <laughs> God damn, still not used to it. Okay, let's rock and roll. All right, let's get inside. As usual, of course, we've got our t-shirt that always comes with every single crit. What is the Luke Gaming crit theme for this month? It looks to be space. Space and exploration. So what shirt is it? Ooh, ooh, that's nice. Check that out. I like it. This side, this side's much better for the spacing. But yeah, an N7 t-shirt. Uh, so obviously for the new upcoming Mass Effect Andromeda, that's like the, it's going to be fun. It looks like a lot of fun. It looks like kind of going back to a more exploratory game that the original Mass Effect was, but having the, a much more Mass Effect 3 style combat and optionability and changeability and being completely capable of doing it in the Mass Effect universe while not being tied to Shepard's story anymore is a big touch it actually works really well for them so um it, be, it means because everybody's so disappointed by the end of mass effect 3 that they it's kind of upsetting nobody nobody wants to actually take part in that world as much anymore i mean the dlc was fine the ending of it but it didn't really come off so well at the end because of the really really shitty original ending the multicolored ending with uh different minor things changing but no real kind of visual differences uh, it, there was a big uproar about it. I mean, I'm a big fan of the inductions, indoctrination theory that the ending was um, essentially Shepard being taken over and that's why the coloration and stuff, but that's a deeper reading made by fans, not by uh, the developers. So much they haven't really said that that's what actually happened. But um, yeah. Mass Effect, looking forward to it. Looking forward to Andromeda coming out. It'll be nice. Let's see what um, comes out with the more footage as the trailers come closer and closer to release date. So let's jump into the crate here. Oh, we'll of course move our this out of the way. We'll get inside first. So what is this? Well, it's Destiny branded. Anyway, I can see that. Destiny. So let's take a look to see what's inside this. I'm assuming it's another scarf of some sort. Um, I've been getting a lot of scarves from these guys, or from Luke Crate in the last few ones. I actually use the um, Abstergo scarf that I got. Ooh, okay. No, this isn't a scarf. It is a scarf. Yeah, it's just a very short scarf. Hmm. Well... Hi, oh boy. It makes me really think like either Russian Orthodox or Jewish faith does the scarves. But, um, yeah. Destiny. Not a big fan of the game series. Um, the MMO that promised to be an MMO action RPG game thing that didn't quite really supply its demand. It's a good enough series. And a few friends of mine are massive fans of Destiny and will defend it to their days. But um, I, I just didn't find the vanilla experience all that enriching. So I didn't really come back to any of the ones that came around afterwards. So what else we got here? Uh, it's an, oh, oh, that's kind of cool. So uh, you guys a fan of XCOM? Well, XCOM, there you go. Need to get better in the lights so you can actually be able to see that. Or is it better up here? XCOM, nope, not good there. <laughs> this is the problem of actually like testing lighting setups. You can't really tell what's going on with it. Or we could do this. <laughs> there you go, XCOM. It's a chrysid. It's one of the alien species from it. It's uh, the spidery walkie, it's creepy bastards. That's actually a nice figure. Who did the design on this? Manufactured by the Coop. That's a new name. Um, the, I don't think the Coop do a figure for Loot Crate before, so apparently there's a Loot Crate exclusive. Let's go look out at this figure. I want to see what the pre 
print and build quality of it is slightly. Let's take a look. Oh, it's taped closed. It's taped closed. Oh, it's a danger. Could easily break on doing this. Hang on. Uh, there, uh, uh, that one's safe. Ooh, I like that. It's like, we do know sometimes whenever they do prints of these figures, um, they've got almost like a slightly rubbery quality to them that they actually like, they bend. This is a spiny, spiky, solid figure. That's actually, ooh, actually kind of mildly terrifying. Yeah, the crescent looks pretty cool. I imagine like over time, I'll probably break the wee tips, pinpoints off the feet of this guy, but that looks pretty nice. I'm trying to, I keep on doing that, but uh, I know the focal length is set to me here, so it's probably better if I go up to this side to try and show up, but it's affecting the green screen, so mm, I need to be careful about that. But yeah, that's a nice figure, isn't it? Mm. So, pop you back in the box. We'll see what else is in our last bits here. I'm looking at it from, doesn't think I see a PlayStation logo on the side of it, which uh, makes me happy. Um, you, if people mightn't have noticed, I'm unintentionally a Sony fanboy on this channel <laughs> because I record a lot of PlayStation games, but it's mostly because of accessibility for me. Um, I I personally find PC games not they're not that uh, they're not that welcoming. The PC community is not quite as welcoming uh, to gamers as it maybe even as it used to be. But it's just the fact that it's Steam or not Steam. If it's either on Steam or nobody gives a shit about it, and uh, the lack of uh, controller abilities because I, I don't have. Um, I've never been a massive keyboard and mouse fan for gaming outside of playing, what, Doom and Quake and stuff back in the day. That was like most of my experience of that and a little bit of RTS. But um, most of my point and click adventures were, like, it didn't matter what you're playing them with. You could use them on mouse, touchpad, touchscreen, whatever. But uh, RPGs as well. All just work pretty fine with control pads. So PC gaming's not been my mainstay, but we are planning to do a lot more of that here on the channel. Um, that's a bit spoiler. You didn't even realize about that, but that was one of the new things that are coming up soon in this week, so look out for that. So, yeah, PlayStation-themed, uh, distributed by Loot Crate item, Ratchet & Clank. So, assuming, like, probably somehow related to the Ratchet & Clank movie that's came out. Uh, let's see what's inside here. <laughs> well, it's not exactly functional or usable. Oh, it, I said it's not exactly functional or usable whenever I'm looking at it, and it looks like it's a, it's a long box axe or long box wrench. Like the actual like ratchets ratchet <laughs> you know but uh yeah it's actually a biro <laughs> it's a pan <laughs> it's like, like it's a really elaborate uncomfortable to use probably uh not that great to write with pen but um is it actually oh even i was like sitting looking at going like is this going to actually take like a nice decent kind of like pen interior inside you know like um a fiber cassel or something like that i don't know uh, what was what was the ones that they always used to have in schools oh uh, yeah Clicker pens, Parkers. I thought I was going to actually have a Parker kind of like refiller in it. Not typical cheap biro. So, uh, of course, this is more than likely designed to be looked at more than used. But a uh, Lombax axe looks nice. Or Lomba Lombax axe. It looks like an axe because it's double-headed, but it's a Lombax wrench. So, yeah, fair enough. That was our loot gaming content for this month. Um, I I've got a stack of crates to work our way through. So, um, expect a few back-to-back -back here as we return back to our regularly scheduled programming. I think there's actually ones left over from uh, January or December crates that uh, obviously other people have done on their channels over the last month or so. But I thought I would bring these back because of the the, the passionate <laughs> plea by a single person to actually maintain it here on the channel. And it's like, ugh, I felt guilty for actually stopping it whenever you guys are actually fans of it. So um, I'll keep it going as long as they keep sending me crates. So yeah, let's see here what we got. Uh, ooh, right. The Epic Drop, Mass Effect, New Earth. Uh, head to space on Mass Effect New York, a thrilling ride to California's Great America. Right, so somebody actually would have won a holiday as one of the epic crates in this one. Fair enough. So, uh, items all together was x con Crested figure. Got that. A Destiny scarf. Uh, you get one of three versions. A Warlock Bond, a Titan Mark, or Hunter Cloak. Um, which one's this? I don't know. I can't remember the races. Can you tell me? Guys, can you tell me which one this is in the comments? Like, what would actually have this? Is this like a Warlock, Titan, or uh, Ranger, is it? Warlock, Titan, or Hunter, sorry. Uh, N7 t-shirt. Uh, Dub Wars free game code. Very nice. That'll be somewhere on this sheet, and I'm probably willing to bet that I'll actually like, show it accidentally, and you guys will steal it. Ratchet and Clank Omni Wrench pin, and a Space Coin pin. Oh, that's pretty cool. So let's give this a uh, little Space Combat look. Here, there you go. Check out that. 
I'm only about that's probably I'm trying to make sure it isn't green screened in any way, shape, or form. But yeah, that's the artwork for this month. Looks kind of nice. But uh, yeah, it's it's already torn. Probably got a tear on it as soon as I unfolded it. Uh, posters, hit seeing posters folded like that, and especially if they're in a box and they get that, you've you've ruined the art before you've even started, guys. It's, I mean, think it through. It's kind of a point. So yeah, that's been the loot crate for loot gaming, or the month of, uh, suppose, I think this might be actually January, February, this is probably the January crate, I'm almost sure. So guys, uh, comment and tell me what you think of the new setup, I like the look, the layout, the idea, where I'm making the mistake of pointing in the wrong place whenever I'm over here, and pointing in the wrong place over here, and using the wrong spaces. Um, there's logistical issues, but uh, what do you think in general? Does this work for you? If it does work for you, then make sure to give me a shout. Uh, one of the things I was thinking about was the um, cameras, Quality is a bit off on this side, but that's because I'm having to use uh, webcams to do the broadcast here. If I switch across to a better camera on a HDMI connection, then I'll be able to pull in a 1080p image. Just This was a test run with a webcam that I had sitting by the wayside because this is my main cam for whenever I'm talking here. So it's uh, it had to make do, I suppose, is the way to say it. This way I can actually do them uh, fast, efficiently, and they're not pulling me away from uh, doing my other broadcast videos and writing that needs to be done very soon for all of the interesting content that is coming here on the channel. So guys, if you like this, remember to hit the button up here, or no, hit the button up here, the like button to subscribe and join the channel, and make sure you see every single video as it comes out here on the channel. And of course, over here as well, and over here, well, somewhere around here, there'll be a couple of wee boxes showing stuff that is actually other things that are here on the channel to watch. So thank you very much, guys, and I will see all you dudes in the next video. Bye.